Greetings. It's great to be with you again. We pray that you're doing well and safe, and we are all praying the, the body of Christ around the world for an end to this pandemic and the lockdowns and the damage that it's done to the economies around the world. And we know that our God is in heaven with Jesus interceding on our behalf day and night and night and day. And we do need to pray for each other and to pray for our brothers and sisters in other countries, pray for the United States. Many nations are under threat from protests, civil unrest, economic upheaval. And you know, we think we have problems here in America, but imagine being in a country like India or Pakistan or Nigeria and being a follower of Jesus and facing intense persecution. And during the lockdown, whereas many of the church members are day laborers, they can't work and they are literally facing starvation. Many uh, global bodies and health agencies have said that more people will die worldwide this year from hunger and starvation from the COVID-19 uh, epidemic. And so please pray and we ask you to consider prayerfully to um, support our trusted missionaries. Many of these we've been to their uh, properties, their ministries in other countries and we can vouch for them for the good soil that they are, that they are still winning souls, that they're relentless in their faith. In many countries, they are being threatened with no aid, no food, water, medicine, access to medical care, unless they renounce their faith in Jesus Christ. And we need to stand with our brethren, remember to pray for our brothers and sisters that are facing great persecution. It's expanding, it's even happening here in America now, and we really need to pray. Prayer moves the heart of God, and when God's people pray together, we can see the Lord move heaven and earth to fulfill those that are interceding their plans, their prayers, their travailing prayers, and their intercessions to move on our behalf for the expansion of the kingdom of God through our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. We have uh, many trusted friends that write regularly. We're praying for them. Our intercessors are praying for them. And as the Lord leads you, feel no, no compunction, or, but only as the Holy Spirit leads and convicts to sow any amount, and the Lord will multiply it. We've been faithfully sending money each week, uh, thousands and thousands of dollars over the last few months to help our trusted pastors and leaders provide food, water, medicine for those facing starvation during the lockdown in many countries in Africa and Asia. And so we so appreciate your help. It's really a, a blessing and a wonderful testimony of the body of Christ worldwide coming together at this time. Sure, we need to pray for our nation and there are people going hungry in our nation. And if you want to give to support feeding the hungry and the homeless and the helpless um, here in America, just specify that on your donation when you give. We have folks in several cities in the United States that are helping to share Jesus, win souls to the Lord, and to feed and clothe and help with housing and other efforts during this time. Many people have been laid off from work and so it's time for the body to rise up, to wake up, to stand strong, bold in faith, and courageous in these times to help care for the global body of Christ with Jesus as the head always. Thank you for your prayers.